So that is the final configuration how the pumps work with the syringe lockbox. So that is a lockbox. We have a key to open it. Uh, here you can see the syringe. From one side it is transparent because it's a prototype. It's not enough transparent, but you can see from distance how how much liquid you have in the syringe here at this point. On the back of the lockbox, it's not transparent. It's a uh, it's a uh, uh, one part. So now let me demonstrate you how you uh, change a syringe when it's necessary. We have a key. You put the key into the lockbox and you open it until the spring jumps out. Now it is open. I take it from, from the pole. I have here a metal part that is keeping the parts together even if they are open. So I'm shifting them like this and I can remove the syringe. To load it again I put the syringe back after I fill the liquid. It has a slot. I put the tubing in a slot putting the two parts together like this and pushing the upper part until they are even. Now I have it with the same key I close the lockbox. Now it is closed. It will close only when it will be here even that the front part will be at the same level like the rear part. And now I can hang it back and it will continue operate from the from the syringe from the syringe to the to the patient. That is a tubing, that is an extension, that is a special set for the syringe and here we can connect an extension set. I will change now the rate to be a higher rate and you can see how uh, the operation is happening actually. I will put 25 ml press OK and now you, you can see the liquid coming out from the valve and taking from the syringe. 